Landing pages are one of the most essential tools in your marketing engine. MailChimp has a free account. With that free account, you can create free landing pages and you can create as many as you want. The downside with MailChimp landing pages compared to a website landing page is that you can't embed this anywhere on your website. It's something, it's a standalone thing. You send it out, out on social media and you can even use the link in future campaign emails. So let's get started creating a MailChimp landing page. To create a MailChimp landing page, you click the create button here and it's gonna give you an option for landing page or regular email or embedded form. Click on build the landing page. You can go through the selection process. I've clicked on the basic one here, grow your list. And then we can adjust some things here, but instead of walking you through building a landing page, I do have one available. Just go back here. Go to campaigns is your other option to get the landing pages if you've already created one. And so under landing pages here, view by type, we have our the one we just created. And here's the one that I've got going on right now. Let me stop that for a second. We'll unpublish it. Type in unpublish to confirm. So we can take a look at it. Let's click edit. So going from top to bottom, we have our name. You can edit the name by clicking edit name. This name is stays in house with you so that you know what it is for this landing page. The page title, however, is seen publicly uh, on the page itself. Actually, it's in the top browser. You want to use some SEO friendly search engine optimization friendly terms here so that people can find it without the help of you sharing it. Then we have our URL, the URL comes in two variations. We have a custom domain and a MailChimp domain. We're just using the MailChimp domain because it is a free account. Next is the very important piece of this action is adding tags. Adding tags helps you with automation and we will take a look at classic automation after we set up our landing page. So if we go into edit tags, I've got one tag here called training offer. You can add up to five tags and you've already I've already set up my audience list, free account. We have one audience list, so that's what we have here. Once you create your landing page, you notice that you can no longer, even if you edit it, you cannot switch audiences if you've already created it and you have more than one audience. So we'll click save on that. And then we have edit design. Here's our fictitious lifestyle fitness gym. I'm sure there might be one out there called something like that. Um, and I borrowed uh, Make Fitness a Lifestyle from Canva. Canva has some great templates that you can use for inspiration. In this case, that's what this is. Or you can actually take some of the things, temp templates, uh, and morph it into newsletters and landing pages for MailChimp. Uh, I just grabbed this uh, off a of Google search for fitness, this little sentence here. And again, this image is from Canva. And then we say sign up for a complimentary training session and then we have an email address and our first name, which is required. With subscribe, I guess we could change that button to not subscribe, but maybe something like, yes, I'm in, something like that. Now we do have the option here for confirmation message. We can change that as well more information about the training session is on its way to you something like that now you might be wondering how did i get this all black if you're not familiar with mailchimp landing pages they do have some style features that you can select from so uh, to get the black background here i uh, selected style here and then we have a page, heading, body, mobile styles, notification bar, MailChimp badge. Let's go through one by one quickly. So under page, you can see I've changed it to this background color and I've changed all of the fonts, colors to white. Click save. For the header, again, I changed it, the background to black. And the links, hmm. The link should be uh, this color here. And we'll click save. 
And then the body, again, same background color, same body link color, same uh, white text. Click Save. Um, mobile styles, I usually don't change any of that. I have no problem with that, although you'll see one when we preview it. Uh, notification bar, kept that the same. MailChimp badge, because I'm on a free account, I don't have the option to remove it, uh, but I just kept it the default white and click save. And so that's how I made this particular landing page. So uh, let's go preview it real quick. This is how it's gonna look on the desktop. Now I've got these uh, little links in here. Obviously, yeah, I made these links, but they're not going anywhere only because this is for demonstration purposes, but you could add in about link to your website, a gallery to your website or a contact page that leads them to your website. So I thought that was pretty neat to put in there. Uh, let's take a look at the mobile. Yeah, I guess this could be formatted a little bit better at the top, um, but it is what it is just for this demo. And we'll click X out of that. So now we have our landing page. We're gonna click save and close. And the last thing to do is click on publish. So that's what we're gonna do here. Now that it's live, we can go take a look at the automation process. Now I'm gonna do a classic automation. If some of you are first joining MailChimp with a free account, you probably won't see classic automation. I don't know if they're doing away with it um, altogether. I'm sure it's being phased out in, in favor of the customer journeys which are just like classic automations, but a little much more in depth. If you have a paid account, if you're looking to get a paid account, you can check out the customer journeys. I have some videos up here. You can go take a look at how to set up customer journeys, uh, but we're gonna do a classic automation. And if you do not have access to classic automations, uh, I have a link down in the description that might work for you. Log into your MailChimp account and then click the link in the description and see if you get access to classic automations. You know, fingers crossed. I don't know how long we're gonna have classic automations around, um, but let's go for it. So for me, I've created classic automations in the past before this change. And so I still have the availability for classic automation in my free account. So let's check out classic automations. And so you have featured, tag, subscriber activity, e-commerce, date base, et cetera. We're interested in the email subscribers when they're tagged. I've already got one set up. So let's take a look at that one. So to do that, we go to campaigns, scroll down to automations. And here's our gym training offer in draft. So what do we wanna do? We want to immediately after a tag is added to the contact, we want to send this email that we're going to design. What is the tag? The tag is called training offer. So that's what we've got set up already. The next step is when to schedule it. Well, we wanna have it scheduled every day, all day. The next section here is filtered by segment or tag. We're not gonna go into that in this video, but that's something that you can select if you'd like. And the last option is a post send action, which might come in handy for some of you. So you check that, you can update their merch field, you can archive, unsubscribe them. Uh, you, want, you can add them to a group. Let's say for this example, you wanna add them to a group and they are events. So you can send them events type material related to your training membership or your gym membership, something to like that. Uh, so that's available for you as well. We're gonna not use it in this one, but we'll update our action. So let's design our email real quickly. So this is our training offer session info. So this is for internal use only. Our subject line is probably the same, right? Training offer session information. And then we can do a little emoji here. And we'll just do a, do a thumbs up, how about that? We'll skip preview text for now, but that's also a helpful hint for people to understand what this email is about. You wanna do the from name and your email address and click next. So we can use the basic or even the text, simple text. I like the basic. We have our logo here. We probably wanna change that out to our gym logo. This guy, or maybe this guy. 
use this guy insert because it's going to be a white background so you want to do welcome to lifestyle fitness gym and then maybe uh, here are the details you are complimentary training session and then you want to add in the dates location and uh, who's the training going to be with and what type of training it is right so you want to have training times I'm not going to fill all this in training times and dates training type and training instructor and location right so that's the type of thing you want to do click save and close easy enough uh, let's remove the social media there you go so we'll click save and close or save and continue actually we'll click next so we've got our audience we've got our tracking we've got our training offer session info we've got the tag which is training offer We've got our email details, we've got our trigger, we've got our subject line, our replies, HTML, et cetera, et cetera, all looking good. So let's start sending. So let's go over to our landing page, enter in our email address, our name. Yes, I'm in. It says more information about training session on its way to you. So that all worked out well. So let's go over to our email and see if we got an email. So here's our training offer. Welcome to Lifestyle Fitness Gym, et cetera, et cetera. So there you go. That's how we set up a MailChimp landing page with a little piece on the end there about setting up a classic automation. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.